Hey everyone, Dahaka here, remaking my gamepad aim issues video for Skyrim. I don't feel just using anti-micro was sufficient in showing all these issues accurately, so having this graph overlay should make things easier to understand. But jumping right into it, Skyrim's dead zone is about 37%, meaning you have to move that far before you see any cursor movement. 37% is a pretty crazy dead zone size. Most games hover around 20 to 25 percent and even that's large so this is well over what anyone needs. You can just kind of see how much stick movement I can make without seeing any movement in game. You might also notice that Skyrim's dead zone is not a perfect circle even though it's pretty close or pretty circular. There's these little points right here that require a bit more pressure to access. This isn't obviously too too bad but anything non-circular is an issue. Looking at these blue regions, these regions indicate spaces where no diagonal movement is possible. So only cardinal, pure up, down, left, right movement. So as you can see I'm at a pretty obvious angle right here and I'm moving just perfectly left. If I move down here, also at an obvious angle, moving perfectly right, perfectly up, perfectly down. It's only until you get into these green regions where I actually see diagonal movement occurring. This is a little more obvious when capping your view like this and seeing when the horizontal movement starts. Now ideally Diagonal movement should occur any p at any time past these axis lines. The only time cardinal movement should appear is when you hit these axis lines perfectly. As far as the acceleration is concerned, the acceleration curve is fine. There's no issues with it. It starts out very slow, as you can see here, where it's very respectable. Increases gradually. It does steep up at the end pretty drastically. Or drastically but this isn't a jump like other games have, it just steeps up really fast. There's no real problem with that. The main problem with acceleration comes from that the game uses aim smoothing. And for those that don't know what that is, aim smoothing causes your turn rate to build up over time. So take this for example. This is the maximum acceleration I can get at max sensitivity in game. So it's pretty respectably fast. But what I'd expect when pegging the stick like this is to get this speed instantly, but as you can kind of see, there's a slight lull before it hits that speed, and that's the smoothing. The smoothing makes it so that it takes, starts your turn speed slower and then quickly builds it up to the speed you select. This can kind of make things feel sluggish and less responsive. But where Skyrim does some extra weird things with it is that the y-axis has drastically less smoothing, it does feel like there's some, than the x. So the x-axis will feel very sluggish while the, that's an unfortunate frame drop, the y-axis will feel a lot more responsive compared to the x-axis. And when making sweeping move movements like this, it feels like the x-axis is just falling behind because it can't, it's not accelerating as fast as the y-axis, even if the max sensitivity allowed are, is a, basically the same. You can kind of see this when spinning the stick around in circles like this, where you'll see it's making kind of large vertical ovals, or well, vertical ovals. And that's because the horizontal part of the oval um, doesn't have time to build up since you're just canceling the smoothing out. This basically covers all the issues that I've found with Skyrim. Unfortunately they all kind of add up to make a pretty clunky aiming experience in this game. That's not too important outside of aiming with a bow and with spells but it's just unfortunate when for just general cursor movement and picking items up it's just a lot more clunky than it should be. 
I'm currently playing on the PC version right now, but these issues apply to the Xbox version as well, and I can imagine the PlayStation, PlayStation 3 specifically. I'd imagine they carry through in the remaster, though I haven't played that, so I don't know if they do or not. But that about covers it. If you guys are interested in looking at the display I have in the lower right corner, I'll be posting this in the description, or link to it, as well as the dot graph I used to form it. So everybody, thanks for watching, and hope all you guys have a good rest of your day.